problem. If the tapping bothers you, you know where the door is. There's no harm in walking out now. These interviews are just a formality. The job's already mine. That's what happens when you know people in high places. Oh, don't worry. Our family's still hiring caddies. Welcome to season's greetings. Or as we like to say, welcome home. The interview will be split into two sections. The first you'll be working in pairs, and the second will be a one-on-one -on -one with a recruitment officer. Looks like you've already paired up. Fantastic. If everyone could make sure to write out a name badge before they come in. The stickers are on the table. Thank you. we value a range of different skills and attributes. Today's task will determine exactly what you're worth. Are there any questions? So as long as it's over four foot, does it matter if it's slanted? No. Do we get any second chances? You may not apply for another position at season's greetings within six months of your last application. If there are no more questions, your 40 minutes starts now. You know they never actually keep CVs on file. They say they'll call, but they won't. They'd rather find someone better. And do you know from experience? Well, the family never keeps anything on record. What's the point if you can't get it right the first time? So, how are we going to go about this? You don't actually expect me to do this. <laughs> No, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure they already know how committed you are to this company. So, if I fail this task, is it just my CV they're going to throw away, or yours too? Look, it takes two flints to build a fire. Do you know who said that? Louisa May Olcott. It means that you need my help just as much as I need yours. What are you doing? What does it look like? No, we, we need to plan first. We've spent God knows how long talking. We don't have time to plan. Especially the colour-coded blueprint kind. It'll go much quicker once we know what we're doing. There's no way I'm letting you tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. Get folding. going to fall. Give it a chance. It's been a pleasure. Tell Lloyd I'll see him on the course Tuesday. Sure. Could you send in the next person, please? Certainly. Please, do take a seat. Firstly, I'll give you feedback for your group task. Leslie informs me that you and your partner...
Yes, sorry. Everything's fine. Well, let's take a look at your CV. Here we are. It says here, a few years back you spent just one week as a waste collector. Why the short tenure? It d definitely wasn't the job for me. I did learn a lot about myself, though. Interesting. Do you think you've learned anything from this experience? Patience. <laughs> well, that's very good to hear. Do you have any questions for me? No, uh, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for dropping by. Leslie! <laughs> Leslie? That's been aggravating me for months. I've just been too busy to fix it. I can see why. Do you know what this is? It's the first ever greeting card design this company published. By Stephen Adams. Mr. Stephen Adams. Don't tell him that I told you so, but he's always been quite different. One to stand out from the crowd. He sees things others don't. He can't have been much younger than you when he started making things himself, selling them to his friends. And then, of course, he had his big break, and that was back in, I think... November the 10th, 2006. Just in time for Christmas. Well, I have to say, I'm very impressed. I think we've looked at just about everything that we need to. How do you feel about joining the team? Excuse me? You do still want the job, don't you? Well, we all need the break we deserve. Thank you, this means the world to me. I look forward to working for you. Oh, no, 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 you won't be working for me. Speak of the devil, he's just walked in. Good afternoon, Mr. Gress. I'd like you to meet your new assistant. 